The Image Segmentation app in the Image Processing Toolbox has a variety of useful and powerful segmentation options. How you use this app will depend on your data, so I want to take the next few minutes to show three examples of some of the options you can use in this app. 1. Thresholding and Morphology. We have three options for thresholding, and you can quickly try out each one. Our documentation will tell you more about the details of each algorithm, but for now we can see that this adaptive threshold works very well for our image. Once our threshold is close enough, we can use morphology to further refine our segmentation. For this example, we can get rid of smaller objects this way, and without being an expert in morphology, we can quickly see how these operations affect the image. 2. Active Contours Sometimes we have a general sense of where our object is, but we want to further refine the location. So I can start with a guess or an estimation of my object's location, but then use Active Contours, an iterative region or edge-based evolution algorithm, which was a fancy way to say that the algorithm grows or shrinks to get the exact location of the object. Watch how this will take my estimate and shrink to a much more accurate final segmentation. 3. Graph Cut now, of the three, this is the newest addition to our software and our app. This allows you to define certain colors, or intensities for grayscale images, that are associated with the foreground and the background. You can continue to add more information to the algorithm for a more accurate final solution. This is a great algorithm for things like semantic segmentation, and it's a semi-automated approach. You can choose any or all of these options for your segmentation. After you have chosen an approach, you can generate code that will allow you to repeat the process without opening the app every time. For more details on our specific segmentation algorithms, check out our documentation, and feel free to try this app and a variety of other image processing apps in the Image Processing Toolbox.